In this problem, we have a situation where an object, in this case, King Kong himself, is falling down a height. Now we assume that the acceleration is constant, that the acceleration is g, 9.8 meters per second squared, and we're looking for a few details about the problem. We're looking for, first off, part A, we're looking for how long it took him to fall all the way down. Now if we assume that the acceleration is constant, and that means we can use any of these three kinematics equations, which assume that acceleration is constant. I've taken the time to write them out here, and instead of delta x, I've used delta y for no reason in particular other than just to kind of help indicate that this is vertical motion we're talking about here. Now to find the time, we'll want to, of course, choose an equation to use. So. Uh, remember, when we choose an equation, we want to choose an equation that has the variable we want to find, in this case, time, and also has all the other equations, has all the other variables that we're given. So the other variables we're given include the how far he's fallen, because we're given the height of the building as 380 meters. We can also assume that the initial velocity is zero, since this is he's falling, which presumably means he's falling from rest. Now, if we look at the formulas we've got here, uh, the ones that have, like, first off, we can ignore this third equation, since it has time, it does, it does not have time, which is what we want. So we can ignore this third equation, and then of these first two equations, it'd be preferred to use this second equation right here, since it mentions distance, it mentions displacement, which is useful because that's one of the things that were given in the problem. So let's use this formula right here. Now right off the bat, we can simplify this formula a little bit because since v naught is zero, then this v naught times t formula cancels out and becomes a zero. So we, can, so we can ignore that and just go right to the one half a t squared. Except instead of a, I'm gonna write g since that's the acceleration that it's undergoing is the acceleration g. And finally, we want to solve for t. We want to solve for time since that's what the problem is asking us to find. So first we can get the t on its own, the t term on its own, by dividing both sides by one half a g. So that becomes two times delta y divided by g. And then to get the t on its own without the square, we just take the square root of both sides. So that becomes the t is equal to the square root of 2 times the, the vertical displacement divided by g. And what we find when we plug this into our calculator, put 9.81 meters per second squared for g, and we put 380 meters for delta y, what we find is that the time is about 8.8 seconds. So that is how long he's fallen. Part b asks us to find the final velocity just before he lands. Now, now that we have time, we have more options for what equation we can use. But personally, I'm just gonna go with whatever equation would have allowed us to solve it without using the time. This is a personal preference. You don't have to do this, but it's a personal preference I have, and I think it's a good habit to have, because in case you got the wrong answer for part A, then that's gonna mess up your answer for part B. If your answers to later parts are based on that, so I'm just going to go with an equation that doesn't mention time. And there's an equation that works pretty well. It's the third equation, the one that's just v squared uh, equals v naught squared plus 2a delta y. This equation works really well because it has all the variables we have and in it including the final velocity, which is what we need. So first off, I'm going to simplify the formula slightly by ignoring the v naught squared, since again, as we talk about, that's just going to be zero. So we could say that v squared is equal to two times the acceleration, also known as g, times delta y. And then just to get v completely on its own, we take the square root of both sides. So that's a v is equal to the square root of two g times the vertical displacement. Now, once again, we just plug this into our calculator. We put 380 meters in for y, and then we put 9.81 meters per second squared for g. And we find a final velocity of 
0.3 meters per second. And that is the final velocity of Mr. King Kong just before he hits the ground. That is all for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. And if you have a future, if you have a question or a request for a future video, I have a Discord server linked in the description down below. So that is all for this video, and I hope you have a lovely night. Goodbye.